We are the Anonymous Defense Front. We are not an organized group, but rather, a collection of ideas. Knowledge is our greatest weapon. The ADF is a public collection of knowledge for the purpose of organizing and protecting the vulnerable from the attacks of those sworn to protect us. In recent years we have seen the police grow into a paramilitary group, operating with disregard for the rule of law, and brutal violence to anyone in opposition. Peaceful protests are routinely met with violent oppression, and we refuse to be brutalized by government henchmen any longer. It is our goal to change this. The ADF is a collection of information to arm and protect the people from the police, and to fight back, using legal, defensive tactics. We refuse to be gassed, sprayed, and beaten any longer. We are the natural reaction to oppression. As the 5th of November draws near, it is important everyone understand how to properly protect themselves from those who mean to harm us. Following are a set of tactics aimed at protecting a peaceful protest from those acting in violence. The use of pepper spray and tear gas by the police is criminal. A government cannot gas its own people, by protecting ourselves we can render tear gas ineffective, and ultimately end its practice in peaceful demonstrations. There are several methods of protecting yourself from tear gas and pepper spray. Painter's Masks These masks work well to prevent the inhalation of tear gas, they are a cost-effective alternative to buying a full-faced gas mask. However, eye protection is necessary, many higher quality painter's masks include eye protection, which strap around the head. This is important because the police will often attempt to remove one's goggles, so that they can spray their eyes with chemicals. Simple workshop goggles are effective in a crowd, but leave someone vulnerable to a physical interaction with the police. Decide where you feel most comfortable, and avoid all close-range interaction with the police if not properly equipped. These masks can be purchased from any home supply store or hardware store. Gas Masks these masks work the best for preventing injury due to exposure or inhalation of police chemicals. The biggest downside to this equipment is that it blocks your field of view, and can become uncomfortable, these are much better suited for those in close proximity to the police. The DIY Gas Mask Using a 2-liter plastic bottle, one can build a temporary mask that works surprisingly well. A sponge or paper breathing mask in the end of the bottle, when soaked with vinegar will mitigate the effects of the tear gas inside the mask. The rest of the bottle, cut in half, makes an area for viewing that protects the eyes from gas. Maintaining a good seal is vital and duct tape around the edges helps to get a better seal. How it fastens to your head is important because a poor connection can easily be removed by a police officer in close proximity. These are cheap masks that can work efficiently. Make several and share with those in need, when there is gas in the air things become chaotic, be prepared and help those in need. Vinegar, lime juice, baby oil, or other mitigating compounds. These are very important to have to help others flush the chemicals and to protect yourself from injury. Together we can curb the use of chemicals on the peaceful. Protecting from physical harm. We often see the tactics of suppression by the police and can recognize the patterns of brutality. Non-lethal projectiles as well as batons are frequent sources of injury and must be defended against. Following is a list of tools one can utilize to protect themselves from physical harm. Shin guards, made for soccer, can be great means of defense and protection against baton attacks. Purchased fairly inexpensively from any sporting goods store, these can be worn on the forearms to block attacks that would otherwise cause great bodily harm. Shields Shields are vital tools in terms of protection from the police. Often the largest distinction between police and protester is the protection the riot shield gives to the police. In the hands of a protester shields can protect from non-lethal projectiles, rubber bullets, bean bags, sand bags, tear gas canisters and flash bang grenades. Used together a group of people with shields are much more likely to hold a line against the police, and can present the safest and most effective formation for defense. Having something that obviously resembles a shield can make one a target, 
however inexpensively crafting wood or metal protest signs with handles in the back can protect you, but convey a message as well. Make several out of wood, and distribute them among those who are in need, hold the police back together. A helmet can be useful in more violent situations, such as when there are rocks being thrown or aggressive physical interaction with the police. Protect yourself and stay safe, because they will not. Fighting back. We believe in fighting those who mean to oppress, with every available tool, however we do not in this case condone any illegal tactics. When we operate within the law, they have no power over us other than to break the law. Following are a list of potential tactics, some that could, and some that should be implemented into every confrontation with the police. The greatest weapon we have against the police is media. We are the generation of the digital age and we can use this to our advantage. At every demonstration we want to see masks holding cameras not just the press. We need to document this police brutality and share it with the world. Shining a light is how we illuminate the darkest corners of society. Take pictures, film, and record all instances of police brutality, keep a record, attempt to learn the identity of the officers involved. Share news, gather support by sharing our experiences and our cause will do the most to attracting support. Our greatest weapon in the fight for social justice is our command of our media, and it is vital we utilize it fully. November the 5th we will take to the streets, to make our voices heard, and to speak against oppression and injustice worldwide. This is part one in a series of instructional videos aimed at protecting the soldiers of change. Your voice is your greatest tool, spread the word, participate in our exchange of ideas. Plan, organize, execute. We are your intelligence service. We are the voice of change. We are everywhere and we are nowhere. We are the bow, you are the arrow. Do not forget, the police are killing people with little to no recourse, be very careful, travel in groups, and always capture everything on camera. We are anonymous. We are a legion. The corrupt fear us. The honest support us. The heroic join us. We do not forgive, we do not forget, expect us.